A Hamilton County family says their two-year-old daughter received severe head injuries while in a babysitter's care and then died two weeks later. Benjamin Brown was indicted for the murder of Annie Burkett Shell and his girlfriend, Brandy Giannunzio, is also facing charges in connection with the case. Channel 3's Kate Smith tells us the family is in disbelief those two people are out of jail. Well, Cindy, this was not uh, Benjamin Brown's first run in with the law. In January 2016, he was arrested for simple assault. And then again, about a year later in February 2017, he broke his terms and conditions of a restraining order. Tonight, the Shell family wants justice for two year old Annie. Annie was the center of her parents' world. They describe her as angelic, intelligent, and the perfect child. All that was taken away from them the morning of August 9th. Police responded to this house on Vine Street in Saudi Daisy. The babysitter, Brandy Giannunzio, called 911, saying two-year-old Annie was having a seizure. She was rushed to the hospital, where doctors told her parents the two-year-old seizures weren't natural. They were happening because she had blunt force trauma to the head. Twelve days later, Annie died while at the Children's Hospital. The Shell family says it's still unclear what led to Annie's head injuries. A grand jury heard evidence in the case about a month after Annie's death and chose to charge Benjamin Brown with felony murder and aggravated child abuse. The babysitter was also charged for making false reports and accessory after the fact. A charge that implies Brandy Giannuzio did not cooperate in the investigation against her boyfriend. Giannuzio and Brown were both arrested on September 27th. They have since bonded out of jail. They will be back here at a Hamilton County courtroom on Friday for an arraignment hearing. And of course, we'll keep you updated through the process. But for now, I'm live in Chattanooga, Kate Smith, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.